Now I've got one question for you. Where do you game? Simple enough question, right? I mean, Xbox, PC, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and there are tons of other mobile devices. You can use your cell phone, you can buy an Ambernic device for playing old school games, so many choices. However, one thing for at least a decade has really been left off that list, and that is gaming on Linux. Now, you hear that and you're probably like, why the hell would I want to game on Linux? Well, if you're a PC gamer like me, then as time goes on, your hardware starts to get old and you constantly have to do new upgrades for newer games that are coming out. And sometimes even for older games that exist, because sometimes stuff gets so old, updates stop going out, and things start to crash. However, gaming on Linux has been a mystery for a very long time, mainly because a lot of the things are touch and go. You know, there were systems in the past such as, or softwares such as Wine, where you'd have to manually try to ins install a video game, a piece of software, etc, etc. However, today, there are two new players in the Linux operating system game that are making it possible to play PC games as well as Android games and also emulators on your PC and even handheld devices like your Steam Deck, your ROG Ally, and your Legion. So welcome to the series Gaming on Linux where we're gonna take you through the steps of how it's possible to game on Linux today how to install things, and the different operating systems and stuff we have at hand. Now, circling back to what I was saying earlier, sometimes you do want to extend the life of the PC or handheld that you have, and so Linux is a great option for extending that life. However, in the past, a lot of Linux operating systems just extended the life for office work or school work, PCs and laptops. Now, today, we have two new players, Endeavor OS and Bazite OS, who are both making waves in the Linux operating system world because they're allowing players, thanks to Steam and some softwares that Steam has developed, to play games on Linux operating system. Now, this is just really an intro video. So we're just gonna go over the different softwares we're gonna use once we're on the operating system. And then as we go through the series, we're gonna cover the installations of each software. And I'm even gonna put places for you to go so that you don't have to write things down as you're watching a video. And things will just be right there static for you. Now, the key players in the Linux gaming world are going to obviously be Steam, who has developed the software Proton, which enables you to install Windows games onto Linux. Now, on most Linux operating systems, you can install Steam, which is usually fairly easy, but for a operating system like Endeavor OS, which is an based on Arc, you're gonna have to manually install everything yourself. And again, we're gonna go over that. Now, outside of Steam, you have Heroic Games Launcher, which is your main launcher that houses Epic Games, Amazon Games, and GOG Games. The Heroic Games Launcher is gonna help you manage all of your games from these three different game launchers. Outside of that, we also have Lutris, which installs games that you have the actual EXE file for. So for instance, you wanna play World of Warcraft, you can install Battle.net inside of Lutris, but also for Endeavor OS, you can also install Battle.net via Steam. I mean, you can do that on any Linux system, um, it just requires some finagling. And then depending on the operating system, there are other game launchers we can get, like itch.io, uh, and other things like that. In Bazite OS, there is an installer for Final Fantasy XIV um, so that it recognizes it as a Windows computer rather than a Linux computer so you can play on it. And that's also not even getting into the native games that are already inside of the Linux stores or in their repositories that you can install. So if you wanna know how to unlock true gaming freedom, make sure to follow me here and any instructional pieces that I go over in my videos we're going to put on my Patreon, which you can find in my link in bio or in my description of this video. Mostly all of the instruction will be free. Just look for the category Linux gaming or gaming on Linux. Now, don't forget to follow me.